comedian David, the bar owner with a colourful past and a bob or two himself, because he won this place in a game of poker. Now Ian, what brings a lovely, well-behaved, charming young man like you to a place like Sandbank? Truthfully, it's the escape, isn't it? What do I want to be dodging bullets for in Manchester, London, Birmingham, and I can come down here and dodge a cream cake? It's as simple as that. <laughs> Your critics would say that you're, you know, you're on the dodgy side of life. Would you? Well, would you I, I, I think in 1999, or the Daily Mail said I was the most volatile and wealthiest football hooligan in the world, bar none. Was that true? The newspaper said it was. By your own admission. You are the complete opposite to most people who live here. Why would you want to come and live amongst you people? Because I can drive my cars around and, no, and, no, and I don't look out of place, whereas sometimes you do. And I suppose this is the only place where your watch wouldn't be the biggest one in town. No, it is. <laughs> this I can assure you. How much is it worth? I think this particular one is 110000 When you hear people say Sandbanks is the Monte Carlo of Britain now, what, what do you think? They're on drugs. Do you find it laughable that people try and compare this to, to the great? Do you not? But it's a pretty beautiful place, though. Unfortunately, the few estate agents that are here have over-exaggerated what this place is about. See, people like me, the folks shouldn't be worried about. The developers, that's the people to turn on. Despite his bad boy image, Ian maintains he's not the real villain. Probably the most disliked person here. You probably wouldn't find one person in this bar in the street who would like Richard Carr. He's exploited this place. Fair play to Richard. But whatever the one people want to say about Richard, you have to admire him. What do you admire about it? What do I admire about Richard? He's got skin thicker than a rhinoceros. <laughs> but I have to admire. He's the most hated man I've ever come across in my life.